at practice. Everybody getting into the act. Durant fires for three. Got it. Got it. Here's Thompson for three. Big shot by Steph Curry. Last October, Gordon Hayward suffered a gruesome injury opening night that sidelined him for the season. Eleven months later, the Boston Celtics guard says he's back. He's been playing full court five on five with his teammates in advance of training camp later this month. And while Hayward says he's basically 100 percent, there are still a few things that he's trying to figure out. You know, the last step for me is, as far as from a physical standpoint, is like the, the little explosion, that little last juice bounce that you get um, and so that's gonna take maybe the longest time but like I said for the most part I feel very good the hardest part of this whole process has been the mental challenge I mean um, having to just fight through not being able to play and uh, do the tedious task of just the rehab and that whole process is, is um, something I don't hope to have to go through again do you, you expect who to be you on the playing the season opener uh, yeah 100% I expect to be out there our Hall of Famer, Isaiah Thomas, joins me now. Zeke, you know what it's like to play through injury. You also know what it's like to suffer an injury that takes you out. Yeah. What kind of a mental toll does that take on a player? Uh, it, it definitely takes a, a big mental toll because that's the first time that your body kind of lets you down. And you start really questioning, you know, can your body come back? But I think he must be inspired and he's got to be inspired by, you know, seeing what Paul George has done. Because we, we look at the Paul George injury, and that was as bad as injury as, as a lot of us have seen. And then, you know, his injury, you know, was just, you know, pretty bad too. I mean, those were two really bad injuries. However, Paul George has bounced back, just got a max contract, having a, a, a great career, you know, still, you know, playing well. And I think Hayward can, can definitely do the same thing, and he's got to be inspired by that. Do you think then that he'll return to that all-star caliber player that we got used to watching? I, I think he will return to that. However, I think it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time for him to, to trust his body again, to trust what he can and can't do. And then there's going to be that certain point where he's got to forget about the injury and then just play. And everyone's going to tell you, hey, don't worry about the injury, just play. And even in his mind, he's going to think that he's doing that. But there's still going to be a little hesitation. So I don't think that he'll really probably get over that until, until probably about like January, February, you know, on one of those road trips where you're really tired and then you just have to go out and push your body, you know, beyond exhaustion. And I think that's when the breakthrough will probably come for him. Well, the Celtics are largely considered to be the best team in the Eastern Conference this season. They already close to were yeah. last season against LeBron James and the Cavaliers, pushing them to seven in the conference finals. What, though, could Gordon add to that roster? Well, I think what he adds is, is some veter veteran savviness. He also adds another scorer, another playmaker, and another shot maker. Uh, you know, so you can put the ball in Kyrie's hands. You can put it in Tatum's hands. Now you can put it in Jalen Brown's hands. You can put it in Gordon's hands. And now you got four guys out on the floor that are playmakers, that are shooters, that can stretch the floor, that can also defend, and they can cover their position. So when you look at the Celtics and you look at those four guys out on the floor, along with Horford, I mean, those are five guys that can really play basketball. So when you're just talking about putting the best five guys out there, playing basketball, you can put them in any type of situation, high screen and roll, side screen and roll, post up, you know, pin down, whatever you want, those five guys can give you. Well, you mentioned Tatum. Coach Stevens told us so many times throughout the season that he had taken on a much larger role than mm -hmm. he was expected to in his rookie season. How do those two guys, Gordon and Jason, play alongside each other? It's going to take some sacrifice. You know, everybody is not going to get all the shots. I mean, Tatum and Brown are not going to get the same shot selections that they had last year. I mean, because you, you bring in Hayward and you bring in Kyrie Irving back. So the shot distribution is going to go down for those two. However, their shot selection has got to get better. Their foul shooting has got to get better. That's the, those are the two areas that those two guys are going to improve in because last year they had the opportunity and a chance to be volume shooters. Okay, well, they can't be volume shooters now because you got two guys stepping back in we're probably going to get a, a good bulk of the shots.